Hey everyone, it's Veronica and in the next two minutes I'll show you how to create a zoom in and a zoom out effect here in Storyline using a zoom region and some jump to cue point triggers. So this is my slide and you're going to need a few objects. First of all, you'll need a zoom region. I'll show you how to insert that in just a second. You'll need three cue points on the timeline. This is where I've got them placed. You'll need a zoom in button just there with a short duration and then a zoom out button, which I've got placed just after the zoom in button. If I hide the first one, you can see it right there. And then of course you'll need whatever image and whatever other information you need to zoom into. In this case, I've got a picture of a machine and some labels here with more information. Let's go to the zoom region. The zoom region is found in the insert menu. You just click on it and it appears on the slide and you can then change the size of it and the location. So this is going to be the zoomed in area. You can also move it around on the timeline. Zoom regions will just play with the timeline. So in this case, it'll play at one second, it'll go for three seconds and then it'll zoom out at four seconds. But I want the learner to have control. So I've created these uh, zoom in and zoom out buttons and now I need some triggers. The first one is to pause the timeline on this slide when the timeline reaches cue point one, my first cue point. At that point, the zoom in button will be visible. So I'm going to say resume timeline on this slide when the user clicks the zoom in button to give them the control. When the timeline re resumes, this trigger will fire, which says to pause the timeline on this slide when the timeline reaches cue point two. So kind of in the middle of the zoom region. Then at that point, the zoom out button will be visible and the zoom in button will no longer be visible. And the trigger there is to resume the timeline on this slide when the user clicks the zoom out button. So the timeline will continue to play until it reaches cue point three. And this time it's going to jump to cue point one when the timeline reaches cue point three. So it's going to play here. The zoom out effect will happen naturally on the timeline. And when it reaches this cue point, it's going to jump back to cue point one, at which point the loop starts again and the timeline will be paused based on this first trigger. And that is how you can have the learner control the zoom region with buttons and at their leisure. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you at the next two minute storyline tip.